Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 4 Seasons. Alright, so we are back with Claire and Carter today. And I'm not really sure who pissed in this woman's cornflakes this morning or why she's staring at Carter with such a freaking stank face. But anyways, Carter actually was having a very stressful day at work. As you can see, he really wanted a drink. And it's been a minute since he's had a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with Claire. So he asked Claire to meet him in hey. Lindenburg at this old quarter uh -huh. bar inn. I think that's... Um, I this might be the Shrieking Llama. I don't remember which one this is, but I haven't been here in a hot minute. So, Clara obviously agree because she's going to do anything for her brother. And, you know, honestly, she really wanted to talk to him because Carter actually um, spilled the beans on accident to Clara about kind of the situation going on with um, Wyatt. Uh, he kind of just assumed that Wyatt had already said something to Claire because it's been a few days and he hasn't. So Claire ended up actually calling, calling uh, Wyatt and was like, dude, honestly, what the heck is going on? And uh, he kind of just explained it to her and honestly, she didn't know what to say. <laughs> so she was like, you know what? Um, this is a little bit too much. So I, I just, I kind of need some space. And he was like, well, I mean, I think we need to, you know, have a chance and, you know, talk and see where this goes. And Claire's, you know, feeling all kinds of feelings. And she was just like, you know what, Wyatt, I just, I need some time, okay? It's a little bit too much. I'm feeling a little bit too guilty right now. Um, so, of course, she was like, yes, I will meet you for a drink. I need one. Um, and, oh, my gosh, I'm so glad you guys responded to, you know, the last part I posted where Stevie and Wyatt broke up. Some of you were like, go, Stevie. Some of you were, you know very thoughtful in your comments about what you think should happen and I really really do appreciate it and you know somebody said that obviously Wyatt wants to see if there's a chance with Clara but that's up to Clara ultimately and I agreed I said you know what I think Clara is too good of a sim she's too good of a person um to just jump into you know things with Wyatt one because they're friends and she's terrified to you know it's not going to work and she's going to lose him completely or two um she just feels guilty you know because of stevie so yeah i mean i'm, I'm right there with y'all oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh who is this amy dallas well carter you've been talking about wanting to get back in the game this bartender is absolutely freaking gorgeous. So let's just introduce ourselves to her while he's having a few drinks. He's kind of feeling himself a little bit, you know. He's looking super fancy, uh, super successful in his suit. Uh, so he's just kind of talking to this Amy Dallas chick. And I mean, I don't know. I'm just, why not? You know, he needs to get out there and meet new people. So let's just chat her up. And yeah, later in this part, it's going to be... New Year's Eve, and like I have been planning, Wyatt and Carter are going to go out and see what they can get into to celebrate with each other. I'm not really sure if Clara is going to join just because of Wyatt and all of that drama. She doesn't want to be caught up in the middle of it right this second because she still feels like there's a loyalty um, to to um, Stevie because, you know, they are friends. It took a long time for her to kind of get on that level with Stevie because Stevie was always so insecure about Clara and Wyatt's relationship. So, I don't know. We're going to see. She might run into them. I think she was actually going to spend a little bit of time with Scott. I know, right? What? I really don't know if it's over for those two. I really, really don't. Um, I just feel like there's something there and she knows. She never gave him a chance, but it's even more confusing now that Wyatt's like, Claire, I want to be with you. I ended things with Stevie. You actually, I did anything with Stevie. She ended things with me, but I think it's okay. It's going to work out in our favor. It gives us a chance. And she's like, um, I don't know about that. You know, I need to figure things out myself like I it's my decision and yes she's in love with Wyatt and yes it's been hard and that's why she ended things with um what's his name <laughs> oh my gosh I just said his name I'm a mess um Jesus why am I having a brain fart right now goodness gracious freaking Scott yes but at the same time she's still just confused and there are a lot of pretty sims here 
Oh, it's our friend Mara. We know her. Oh, well, we're not like technically friends. Um, isn't that his? Yeah, we're friends with her husband, Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Oh, look, she's playing on her slablet that he bought her. And look, the reason why he bought her a slablet is obviously because he is in the. Um, tech bureau career so he has like access to these things and she's really been wanting one for like help her with work and like pinterest so she can like start making her flower arrangements and she wants to start planning to open her own flower shop one day so you know it was just a thoughtful gift and obviously stevie took it the wrong way but hey it is what it is oh my gosh savannah woods i mean oh my gosh you're beautiful too <laughs> hi there let's just give her a cheerful introduction as well uh carter you have some options here my boy this girl is beautiful um she's got some jewelry on her hand though I'm not really sure if she's single or not i mean let's not beat her on the bush let's ask her i know for a fact this one's single hmm. um but let's see because oh my gosh she's really freaking cute is she a townie or is she part of this save file she's kind of dressed like a townie like that gender that that outfit girl the pink boots with the red pants i hear you the wool sweater okay so savannah is single oh my gosh <laughs> Carter. Oh, he's thinking about her. Ooh, okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, um, I think they're both feeling a little bit bubbly <laughs> from drinking. So, I'm going to have them go on home. Um, <laughs> they didn't really talk much uh, because Carter was chatting up these ladies over here. But, you know, Claire does not mind. She knows that her brother, uh, is, she's happy for him. She wants him to, you know, move on and get over the heartbreak with Sophia so you know what she's glad that she could come be his wing woman <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna have them go home and go to sleep and then tomorrow we are going to meet up with Wyatt and celebrate the new year all right so it is New Year's Day it's actually afternoon time and I was kind of just waiting around until they went out tonight but I thought it was really cute that Carter woke up just to completely just bright-eyed, happy, and so positive. He came in here to Clara, who just actually adopted a dog, which I think we're going to meet, um, because she misses Bella. She misses, you know, having a dog around. So it's the first of the year, and she wants a little companion. So we um, are going to be, hopefully, adopting this little puppy once it arrives. But Carter came in here and is just giving a toast to his sister. You know, here's to a new year. We've both been through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of heartache, and a lot of hard times, but it's a new year and it's gonna be good and she's like yeah I agree cheers so they're um, toasting to the new year which is super duper cute and I also want to have them make their new year's resolution so alrighty let's make a resolution for Carter um, we have complete an aspiration milestone get a significant other get promoted raise a skill write a book lose weight all right so i think that his resolution is going to be to get a significant other because he's ready to move on and for a second you know he was down on himself thinking that he's never going to fall in love again you know uh, that's not true <laughs> so he realizing that now that he's kind of gotten over and is ready to move on uh, he met them girls last night you know he got their numbers you know he's doing him and he's feeling himself so his resolution is going to be to get Get a significant oh other. So he's just telling Claire, you know what? This is my year. And she's like, you're right. I agree. It's your year. Um, I mean, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and you have me drinking like a cosmopolitan, but that's fine. <laughs> um, but we did adopt this puppy, I thought. I don't know where it's at. I thought they'd bring it to us. Are they not going to bring me my dog? I'm going to be so sad if they don't bring this dog. All right, so here's the little puppy that we're going to adopt. She's a little bull terrier. Um, Yes, we want to adopt her. Her name is Ruby. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't think I really like that name. Pippa. Pippa Pig. Molly. Oh, I kind of like the name Molly. That's cute. All right, so we're going to just name her Molly instead of Ruby. Oh, look. Claire's got her a puppy. Uh, bull Terriers are the cutest little dogs to me. They're kind of like an ugly cute, and don't get offended if you have a Bull Terrier. It's just like they're so odd looking, but... It works for them. They're really cute. So, anyways, Carter's just like, Claire, you know Mom would have a fit if she knew this dog was in her house. She's like, you know what? It's okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, but, anyway, she's feeling really uncomfortable. And uh, it's 2.42 p.m., so I'm going to have them start getting ready and preparing um, for 
for the night out. Uh, I think Claire is going to go with them. I think she's actually going to invite Scott, though. I know it's going to be like a recipe for disaster, but it is what it is. And I want her to make a resolution. Complete an aspiration milestone. Get a significant other. Get promoted. Raise a school. Write a book. Get fit. Um, man, this is a hard one because I want to say I want her to be happy too and be in a relationship. But at the same time, I don't know if that's like a priority for her right now because she's kind of starting to want to focus on herself. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's see. Um, she's also been working on her fitness. She wants to get fit. Um, but I can definitely see her complete in an aspiration milestone, you know, so we're going to go with that. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to have them go shower and get their outfits picked out and get ready for tonight. Alrighty, so everybody is together for the New Year's. I'm so freaking excited, but I'm also kind of anxious. I don't know if there's going to be any drama because, one, Wyatt and Claire are out together. Scott's also here. And then Carter, my boy, has invited two girls. He's invited... Savannah, which, oh my gosh, she's so stunning. I don't know why, but I just, I'm feeling Savannah for Carter. I don't know what it is, but she's beautiful, and he seems to be, like, more gravitated, or gravitating, gravitating towards more her, more towards her. Well, that didn't make any sense. And then, of course, we have Amy out, who is also stunning, and, I mean, I don't know. Carter uh, and Wyatt are both single, technically. I mean, I would be very disappointed if Wyatt made bad decisions and knocked somebody else up, honestly, but I uh, also wouldn't put it past him, to be honest. Um, but where is Clara? Clara? Um, Clara? Okay. <laughs> I think Clara is going up here to talk to Scott. Um, she's going to ask Scott if she can see his uh, party wear because, uh, you know, I got them all decked out for the holidays, uh, New Year, and oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, hell no. Nah. Okay, so we're definitely going to have some drama because look who's here. Look who decided to hit up the same freaking nightclub. It's Sophia. Oh my gosh. Carter has not seen her yet, but. Um, <laughs> Clara's gonna come over here and um, just kind of be like, hey, um, wow, small world, huh? You know, you would be at this bar, wouldn't you, Sophia? Don't you have anywhere else to be? And she's like, I mean, I'm supposed to be meeting somebody here. And she's like, you know what? Honestly, I think you need to go. Carter's here, and it's not going to be good, so you just need to go. She's such a good sister. She, you know, Sophia's like, yeah, you're right. I, you know, I'm tired anyways, and I don't want any confrontation. So, yeah, thankfully, I think she's going to be able to skip out before Carter sees her, and it kind of ruins his mood. But anyways, oh, my gosh, Scott, he is so freaking gorgeous. She's going to be flirty with him. Honestly, here's Claire's mindset right now. Yes, she has these feelings for Scott. Obviously, he's amazing. Um, but she's also just very confused because of Wyatt. She's also, like, in love with Wyatt. And um, she honestly is kind of pissed off that he would even call her, you know, <laughs> and tell her, hey, me and so-and-so, me and so-and-so, me and Stevie, <laughs> me and Stevie broke up. Um, and uh, she's just like, I just I can't believe, you know, that... You're putting this pressure on me. He's like, Claire, I'm not putting any kind of pressure on you at all. That's definitely not it. Um, I just, I wanted you to know. And, you know, where things go from here, that's up to you. And she's like, okay, well, that's fair. And he's like, well, are you going to go out with us? And she's like, yeah, I'm going to go out to celebrate the New Year. But Scott's going to. We already had these plans. And he's like, okay, yeah, that's fine. I completely understand. Wow, look at everybody here. Everybody is standing here, and they are waiting for the countdown. They've got a long time, maybe about two hours. Can we not stand here for two hours and, like, wait around? I really want him to come over here and um, blow horns. Just kind of get a little flirty. Kind of see who he has more of a natural chemistry with. Let's get to know her a little bit. He is so freaking excited and you know Wyatt's just so happy for him. He's like dude you're feeling yourself. You're killing it dude. I love you. <laughs> uh, but yeah I want him to just keep on you know talking to her and get to know her and then you know same with Amy. I don't want to you know just completely ignore Amy. He did invite Amy out um, and then I also want um you know what, honestly, we're going to add him to our family because he's a big part of our LP and I, I want to be able to, uh, to, you know, talk to him and control him and have him, you know, 
do what he wants to do as well. So, anyways, I want him to introduce himself to, you know, Carter's friends here. And then, um, I don't know, I, I feel like I want him to go up there and kind of talk to Claire too. But he knows she's up there with, with Scott, which is just going to be, like, really awkward. You know, it really is. So, uh, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to come up here and... You just, just kind of see, you know, no, nothing wrong with just coming up here and seeing what's going on because I think he's starting to feel a little bit like a fool himself. Uh, you know, he's kind of starting to realize, you know, why Stevie's been saying you're calling me a fool. He's like, okay, well, I thought there was, you know, these feelings for me and Claire that thought me and Claire was going to, you know, work things out and uh, see if there was a chance. But, you know, here she is with Scott and he's kind of not okay with that. And she's feeling really flirty. I think she's been pre-gaming a little bit. <laughs> um, they're all have their drinks. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we need to count down. We need to count down. We need to count down. Okay. You know what? Scratch that. I don't want to miss the countdown. So can we watch the countdown to midnight? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Um, hurry, 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 watch the countdown to midnight. So yeah, he went up there to get Claire, and he's like, it's, it's time for uh, the countdown. She's like, okay. <laughs> so, oh, look at him. I love this holiday so much. I think it's so awesome. Um, look at him. Oh, they're all like having like a big group hug because it is the new year. They're, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love it. <laughs> um. Wow, okay. So I really want him to come over here, just like talk to Claire a little bit. You know, they haven't talked much tonight. And she's like, yeah. No? What do you think about the girls? And he's like, seriously? <laughs> like, are you for real? Claire, it's a new year, you know? Um, I, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Can you come over here and just like sit down with me? And she's like, okay, Wyatt, what? <laughs> you know, I'm here with with Scott, and I, I want to get to know Scott. I never gave Scott a chance, and why is like, hey, oh, seriously? <laughs> I mean, where is this coming from? I thought, and she's like, well, you thought wrong, and she's walking off. Okay, you know, why is just kind of like, okay, you know what, what's going on? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really confused. I'm confused too, but you know what I think it is, is that she's kind of pushing him away. She is. She's pushing him away. 110%, that is what's happening. But I'm not going anywhere. Um, where is the rest of our friends? Did they leave? Did our friends leave us? Where is Savannah and Dallas? I really wanted Carter to have a New Year's kiss. <laughs> where did they go? Yeah, I think they're all leaving, so that's cute. Everybody but Wyatt and Claire. Ah, typical. <laughs> what does she want to do? Oh my god! <laughs> she is like a walking contradiction. She's like pushing him away and telling him, no, I'm interested in Scott. I never gave Scott a chance. But she's standing here with him, and she wants to woohoo with him. And I think she's just feeling a little bit just drunk and in her feels a little bit um i really want wyatt to just you know he's feeling it too he's starting to fill the drinks and you know he knows scott just left and i mean he's gonna go in for it i know i think honestly this is wrong of him i don't think he should really like push it on her which i honestly don't think that's technically what he's doing i don't think he's like pushing it on her per se but um he's just kind of making those moves which you know <laughs> Um, might lead to something, which I don't want him getting Claire knocked up. He's already gotten Stevie knocked up, so, I mean, I know she wants to woohoo him with him, but, you know, she's like, no, Wyatt, you know, Wyatt, you know, you gotta stop, you gotta stop, you know, you're so freaking beautiful, and you're making me feel all these freaking feels, and I don't want to feel like this, I don't, I don't want to be wrapped up in this, this was supposed to have been about Carter, and it's all about us, why does it always turn into something all about us, he wants to chat with Amy, uh, he's like, y'all, I'm just here for a good time, I'm just here for a good time, you know, I'm here, I'm here, we're doing good, <laughs> he's feeling himself, he's like, you know, I had a good night, you know, like, I got, I got two girls, two options, I'm feeling good. Might not have, you know, went the way I wanted it to. Like, I didn't, like, get it in, but, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Carter, go home. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, they're just talking, and she's like, look, I like you. Obviously, I, I have really strong feelings for you, Wyatt, and she's getting really emotional talking about this, and she's like, you know, I'm drunk. I'm feeling emotional, and honestly, it's just... I don't think it's right for you to kind of pressure me into this decision because I can't do it right now. I can't. I can't. And so he's like, well, you know what? Let's just go on home, okay? Let me just take you home 
and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So I think they're all going to go on home. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of like a sloppy part. It kind of didn't really go how I wanted it to, but when, you know, you go out in groups like this, it's kind of like hard to focus on one person. So I was wanting to focus on Carter and, you know, him finding, you know, somebody to be interested in, somebody to hang out with, which I think we accomplished. We found two, you know, bachelorettes. They're very beautiful. He likes both of them. They could potentially be good friends. I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, he's happy. He thinks, you know, it's a good year. Um, wow, the snow melted, like, really fast. <laughs> um, but, Anyways, Claire is asleep. Uh, Wyatt, you know, helped her get to bed. She was kind of a little stumbling around, and uh, he is going to go home. He just wanted to make sure that, you know, his friends got home because he, you know, um, wasn't, you know, drinking as much as them, but he is going to Uber back. He's going to, he's not going to be drinking and driving, but anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I know it's been kind of like all over the place, um, but you know what? Sometimes it just can't be perfect, <laughs> um, but it is the new year. I'm super excited, um, you know, for what that could mean for, you know, Clara and Wyatt, Clara and Scott for Wyatt in general and for Carter and, you know, what he wants to do with his life and moving on I'm just I'm really excited it's a new year it's exciting like I really am excited for them I feel like it's really a new year I get like so in tune with my sibs that y'all know what I mean y'all do too I know you do but anyways y'all let me know what y'all think do you think that Clara is pushing Wyatt away do you think that she's genuinely more interested in Scott or that she's just scared to death to you know be in that love triangle with Wyatt right now or maybe she's just really confused I want to know what you guys think y'all have been leaving me all y'all suggestions and opinions and it's really helped me a lot it really really has but anyways y'all I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here if you guys liked it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and yeah with that being said I will talk to y'all later bye I'm <laughs> sure